What is going on everybody? Merchie Balkisa here. Welcome back to the channel Charging the Road. We are here in beautiful San Diego, California. We're about to go into fully charged, uh, fully charged live over here in San Diego, uh, San Diego Convention Center. There's already a big line for me right now. It is about 20 minutes before the doors open. Um, but we made it here only from Los Angeles. So let's go check out Fully Charged Live. I saw you earlier, but I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, it's all good. Good, good to see you. Liz. Good to see you, dude. Oh, Hi. what's up, Liv? How you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, oh. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome to California. <laughs> Miss Go Electric, right? Yes. Yes. Nice to meet you, Lacey. Miss Go Electric, come on up, Lacey. We've got Tosh from ChargeNet Station. Come on. Up. We've got Patrick from the Monkey Vlog. Come on up, Patrick. And Richard Buzz with the EV Angelus. Come on up. Electrify America booth. This is the machine that we used the other day in a road trip. This video is going to go up before my road trip does. So this is the first time you guys are going to see the new machines up here. Now, they did announce the new stickers that will help identify the uh, the different charging um, levels that you're supposed to be pulling into. Yeah, so Chargeway, we simplify plug types with colors right. and power levels with numbers. So you can see it right on the map. So if you're driving a Mach-E, you can go up to level six and use green stations, and then you can more easily see what charging works for you on the map. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it makes it super simple. Very good, very good. Yeah. I like that. So it's got a trip planner built in, it's got a charge time estimator built in, so you can see exactly what power level will do for your wait time. Yeah. And so it really just makes it simple because we want to help, everybody's coming to Fully Charged Live, we want them to know how charging works. Yeah. Because a lot of people haven't really made the switch yet, and if you have to switch from gas to electricity to fill up, I don't know how it works without feeling overwhelmed. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So as a Mach-E owner, again, you had to probably get at some point and figure it out, and you had to dedicate some time to that. If we're going to reach more people faster, we want to simplify how you can learn it. Absolutely. No, this is great. It makes it a lot more intuitive for, for those who are pretty much new to EVs or are still confused about it and yeah. whatnot. But it's really for everybody, too. Like, even I myself, like, uh, even I myself, this is like also yeah. really awesome. Because I use PlugShare to do, you know, to find the station sometimes and of course Electrify America, but this seems way better for me. Well, the cool <laughs> thing is too, is, is because we know you're driving a Mach-E, for example, yeah. we can show you which stations are plug and charge only. So if you want to show up at a station, you know, you just click and go, yeah. we can show you that with just a hit of a switch. Oh, that's right. The plug, uh, what was it? Plug and, uh, plug and charge. Yep. Yes, exactly. plug and charge. Yeah. That's great. So those little details you want to be able to navigate quickly and we've got all that stuff going. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. We're gonna check out some of the vehicles that they have here at Fully Charged Lines. And then we have ourselves a VinFast right here. Let's go check it out. I have to admit, it looks super nice. I think as far as like size-wise, this looks really, really good. I'm in love with the color, by the way. I love the green metallic on this. And check out the logo right there. I wanna check out the interior for a second here. This looks really, really good. Head. I could have worn a hat in there. Wow. Looks really good in, inside yeah. here. I love it. Let's have a look inside here. Oh my god. This looks great. <laughs> steering wheel right here. But this, this steering wheel feels a little lighter. I do kind of wish there was a display right here, but it's fine. They've taken the they've taken the uh the keys off from the Tesla, but the seats are so comfy. Oh my God, they're cushy. They're cushy compared to the mach -E. And of course there's your infinite tone in there. There's your, listen, here, I'm not a fan of like the gears being this big. I just like, I'd rather have the dial, but this is an amazing interior. 
The material feels really, really good. I love it. Oh. Vehicle Association. Let's check out some more cars here. We have the Kia EV6 and Matt Sterling Gray, I believe. Looks great. I think out of the uh, Ionic 5 and the EV6, I love the EV6 styling better. It just feels more sporty. I do love the Ionic 5 styles, which we're going to check out in a little bit. Um, it's retro. I like it. Now, this is awesome. This color and metallic, not sure if you can, can't, you can't really see it through the camera. The camera doesn't do justice, but if you see it in person, you see it's like super shiny, super sparkly, it's metallic. I love it. And I love it how like the, ch the color changes in the reflection of the sunlight or like the light in general. It looks really, really good. I like it. Check out the front end right here. I like the front end. This is all. This is awesome. Kyle Connor of Auto Spec. He's in the house. So awesome. Check this out. We got the Jaguar I Pace. You don't see these often. You don't see these often on the road. I've only seen it like once or twice in my entire lifetime while I was driving. In fact, I did see one uh, actually in Chicago. You might have seen it in my video. But I love the elegant design. I love it. Um, my opinion, this looks really, really good. I think, I think the overall size looks pretty cool. Love it. Let's check out some more Teslas. I've seen this Tesla before uh, from the same owner. We did an event back in the day. And here's another Tesla with the wraps. And of course, there is the Maki, -E, I believe, is a uh, all wheel drive standard range driver blue of course you've seen it many many times because i own one myself here's an ionic 5 looks really really cool again it has like 80s retro look hatchback hatch hatchback i've seen it many times on the road i mean it's seen it many times when i go charging um this is the third time in my and this is the third time in person i've seen the G, uh, genesis gv60 I've seen it in this color before too on the road. It looks pretty cool. It stands out actually. So we got ourselves another Tesla Model X. Love the color on this. The color's not boring whatsoever. There's the interior. It's like the old classic interior. I'm a fan of it by the way. I've uh, driven a Tesla before and it was with the Model 3 but never with the Model X. There's another one in matte red. And of course we have our Nissan Leaf. Nissan Leaf kind of helped kick off the uh, electrific electrification for the every everyday consumers along with Tesla, of course. The Leaf it's been a long, it's been around for a long time. The problem with the Leaf now is that they're gonna be discontinuing it pretty soon. Um, and it still uses the Chatamo, so that's gonna be replaced by the Aria, I believe. Um, take that with a grain of salt, but I believe that's what's happening. But the Leaf is not bad. And right here we have the ever so popular Model X. Gorgeous blue. Blue's not bad. Seems like everybody wants to sit in a, in a Tesla Model X. It's got the third row seating. Really, really cool. Although the seats are really tiny, so I, would, I wouldn't be back. I wouldn't want to be back here. Yeah, but it's still nice. All right, let's check out the inside. I've never been inside a Model X. And this is the first time holding. <laughs> Initially holding it is awesome because, you know, I play video games my whole life. So this kind of brings me into like a video game realm. But, you know, everyday driving, I'm not sure if I can do it. But this is great. Look at this huge glass. Again, this is my first time going inside a Model X. I know a lot of you have been in a Model X before. These are nice, actually. I'm a little surprised by the seats. Very simple. I'm not sure if I'm going to pay more than $100,000 for this, though. But, or at least $130,000. Um, 
but it is a plaid. It is the newest plaid. All right, coming over this way, we have the BMW i3. It's got a two-tone color. That's not bad. I think I'm kind of a fan of it. Of course, we've seen the BMW i3, uh, i3s looks like it. And they're also discontinuing this in the future. Uh, BMW is already coming out with new variants. And here is what started it all for Tesla. The original Tesla Roadster with the hard top. Looks really, really cool. I think this is actually the first time I've seen it in person. I've seen it many times in videos and, pic and pictures, but never seen it in person. Looks, looks awesome. Really, really cool. I honestly don't know why Tesla stopped, support stopped supporting this vehicle. If you look inside there too, It's all old school, but it's what I like too. That front end looks awesome. Looks really, really good. And of course, right here we have the Rivia. And I've already seen it before in, in person. When I first saw this in person rolling in into that event I did, I was in shock and awe how gorgeous this thing looks. It's smaller than I anticipated, but the size just seems right. I mean, the bed could be a little bit bigger, but you know what? Honestly, this is the kind of pickup truck I'll probably go on a, go on like on a camping trip or, you know, go uh, hiking and whatnot. But this is a really good truck. And of course, it's built out of uh, my home state of Illinois, normal Illinois. Um, you know, if I was if I was not to get a Bronco and I wanted to get like an off-roader, this would be it. Maybe in this color, but there's also the new... Uh, Ocean interior, which I know this one doesn't, but you know, at first I didn't think I was gonna like the front end when I first um, when I when I was gonna see this in person, but I was blown away. I was blown away how beautiful it looks. It's awesome. I mean, it's one of those things where it looks silly, but at the same time, it's also it looks awesome. And this stands out on the road. Every time I go drive and see a Rivian, I was like, what's a Rivian? Of course. Okay, so we got ourselves a Fi uh, Fiat <laughs> Fiat 500e. Looks pretty good. Another BMW i3. And of course, we got ourselves a Polestar Polestar 2. Looks really cool. I've seen it a couple times in the road already. It looks like a sedan, but it's not a sedan. It's supposed to be a crossover. Um, just like the height off on the road looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I like it. So that's cool. There's another uh, Tesla Model X in matte. There's a Ki Kiva. <laughs> Kia EV6 in red. Looks really awesome. Looks pretty striking along with, you know, with the contrast of the black and the red. It works. It's so good. I'm very impressed with it. And of course, there's another Kia EV6 and matte silver. This also looks great too. I think the only problem with the Kia EV6 is the headroom. It's pretty small, a little short in there, but looks pretty, looks pretty good. Again, I'm a big fan, bigger fan than the Ionic 5, but I do love the Ionic 5 though. This is really cool. I don't know what to make of this. So it looks like it's a Scorpion EV to, out of Temecula, California. It's got a 90 kilowatt battery, Tesla S performance of a drivetrain, output 600 plus horsepower, 687 pound feet of torque. That is freaking awesome. That is awesome. That's definitely uh, it's a Shelby body. This is so good. So what do we got here? We got the Nimbus One. This is a very interesting, uh, I'm gonna call it tandem seating vehicle because there's a second seat in the back. Looks really, really cool. If you guys ever watched the uh, Ready Player One, they have these kind of uh, cards, excuse me. They have these kind of cards um, where it's like, you know, you just kind of pick up and go and everything. And looks like it's only J1772. But this is pretty cool. I like the lights with the blinking and such. A bit of a smiley face with uh, bad teeth. I don't know. 
cooks really good though. I like it. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Doesn't look too ordinary, pretty cool. And of course, that's the F-150 Lightning. Looks really good. Of course, it's just your, just looks like an ordinary F-150, but it's just so cool to see it up in front. The F-150 Lightning. There's the backside of this uh, awesome looking Model S. Like it. Look at those seats. Those seats are awesome. Wow. So those are the kind of cushion seats I like, and I love the color too. I think that's a pretty fitting. Well, that was, uh, that was actually pretty fun stuff. I had a chance to talk with uh, the Vonky vlog, met a few people, and also met David Connor. I saw Kyle Connor of Auto Spec Studios. He was there, but he was talking to some people. I couldn't have a chance to say hello, but I did have a chance to say hello to uh, David Connor. I love his stuff. He's got his own channel, Auto Spec Dave. Um, my, uh, my vehicle's got 17% state of charge. How about we go charge my car right now and then end this video? And then, um, yeah, that should be our, that should be it. Out of here in San Diego. All right, so I just made it here to Electrify America here in North Park in San Diego. Everything's going great. Uh, plugged into my vehicle, another complimentary session. I'm gonna go have myself some beer and burger while I charge. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button and share and like the video for more content. Until then, guys, thank you so much. Have a good one and stay smashing.